integrate uh, a squared minus x squared dx. Now to integrate this uh, integral or this function, uh, you have to do a trig substitution. Okay, so this is an example of trig substitution. So here yeah, what I'm going to do is, my intention is to get a 1 here. Now to get a 1, I'm dividing a squared by a squared and x squared by a squared. So if you factor out uh, 1 over a squared, when it comes outside the square root, it will be 1 over a. And to cancel that 1 over a, I have put an a squared here, a here, so that it cancels. So basically this step and this, are, this step are the same. In other words, you have multiplied inside this uh, in that inside this uh, radical or square root. Uh, you're multiplied by one over a, and you have kept an a to cancel that one over a. I hope you understand the step. So basically, I'll repeat: when you factor out one over a squared from inside the radical, you'll have one over a here, and that one over a has this a to uh, to be cancelled with. So this is your first step. I hope you understand why I'm why I need a one year. Okay, I'll come to that later. So the next step would look like this. That is a times square root of. Uh, this is not a decimal. So this is one minus x squared over a. Now I hope you know the trig identity of sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to one, which implies uh, 1 uh, sine squared x, uh, sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x, or cos squared x is 1 minus sine squared x. So that's the reason I am I want a 1 here. So I'm going to do a trick substitution. I'm going to take x over a as sine theta. Okay, so this is a trick substitution. So x over a is sine theta, which implies x is equal to a a sine theta cross multiply or multiplying both sides with a now integrating with respect to theta integration of sine sorry differentiation of sorry differentiating both sides with respect to theta we get uh, differentiation of sine theta is cos theta so dx by d theta is a cos theta okay now this implies dx is equal to a cos theta d theta d theta okay so what happens now so in place of dx, I'm going to put uh, a cos theta uh, d theta. And in place of this, I will put x squared. So this implies, this implies x squared over a squared is nothing but sine squared theta. I've done all the steps so that I don't waste time in writing the steps down. So this becomes a times a times 1 minus sine squared theta times a cos theta, d theta. Okay, so this is nothing but a times 1 minus sine squared is cos squared. Okay, and uh, square root of cos squared is cos. So this is pretty simple. So a times cos theta times a cos theta, d theta. So here, now you got, this is a times a is a squared, cos squared theta, d theta. Now to integrate this, you can do in different ways. I'm using the double angle formula, so which is this is the double angle formula. Cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared minus 1. This is one of the three uh, formulas of cos 2 theta. So if you make cos squared theta the subject, that is nothing but 1 plus cos, uh, cos 2 theta over 2. Okay, and that is same as cos squared uh, is half. You can factor out a half, 1 plus cos theta. So in place of cos squared, I have put half times 1 plus cos 2 theta d theta. Okay, so now you can factor out the 2 or half, so that's a squared over 2. So this is called a power reduction for formula. And now integrating, so integration of 1 with respect to theta is theta, plus integration of cos 2 theta is sine 2 theta over 2 plus c, which is the constant of integration. Okay, we're almost there. So this becomes, uh, now I'm multiplying, so 
you are multiplying so this is you are multiplying this 2 theta over 2 which is 2 theta plus sine 2 theta over 2 okay so this becomes now okay so this is this is the form now we'll come back to the substitution if <clears throat> this is what we started or this was a trick substitution that x over a is sine theta so theta is sine inverse of x over a so that's it result one <clears throat> excuse me if you if you square both sides sine squared theta is uh, x squared over a squared which is nothing but one minus cos squared over is equal to x squared over a squared okay uh, the next step is if you make cos squared the subject cos squared is one minus x squared over a squared where this is nothing but the multiplying both by a squared so if you multiply this by a squared you have to multiply this with a squared or cross multiplying a squared minus x squared over a squared so cos theta is 1 over a times square root of a squared minus x squared this is result 2 okay so let me remove the wheel so this becomes so this is actually I have copied and pasted from here so this and this are the same so a squared over 2 uh, so this is this form so now I'm simply substituting so I know sine theta is x over a and cos theta is 1 over a square root of a squared minus x squared so this becomes so this has come from uh, this has come from here so this is this becomes if you want to do one step here more this is a squared over 4 times 2 theta plus sine 2 theta plus c so this is this this is this 4 has come from 2 times 2 is 4 so that's what the same thing is and now substituted so theta is sine inverse of x over a plus 2 times sine theta is x over a times cos theta is 1 over a times square root of a squared minus x squared plus c okay so now this is simple simplification so this is 2 so this becomes 2x over a squared times square root of this okay and then you are expanding with a squared so this is 2 a squared over 4 times sine squared x over a plus 2x or 2a squared x over 4a squared so this this goes this becomes half so this a squared and this a squared gets cancelled this is again half so finally this is the final result so integration of so we can say this is integration of square root of a squared minus x squared dx is equal to this so a squared over 2 times sine inverse of x over a plus x over 2 times square root of a squared minus x squared plus c now this is a very useful formula which can be used in many uh, results where you have to prove so i want to make a next video i'm going to use this to prove that area of an ellipse centered at zero zero is par a b